Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching us. Um, this is like kind of a first of 2021 video vlog from Winko Fireworks, but we wanted to kind of bring you up to date with what's going on. And I will hand it over to, I'm Dave Guccione, this is my caller, and I will hand it over to Mike and he can kind of explain, kind of give you an update with what's going on with the industry right now. Well, hello, and I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, I'd like to start by taking the opportunity to uh, wish our Chinese friends and colleagues a very happy and prosperous New Year. Uh, today is the beginning of their Chinese New Year holiday. Um, it's the year of the ox. And I wish them very much luck because I'm going to tell you, we're going to need a lot of luck to get through this season. Uh, just kind of an update on shipping and some things going on over in China. A, a quick review, as you, as you know, there's a lot of interruptions in uh, shipping in the fall. Uh, from both Beihai and Shanghai. Um, Beihai finally got going and they got to ship out a lot of stuff, but then they got cut off at the year end and they haven't shipped anything in January, February, but they hope to, to resume shipping sometime in March um, if the port gets reopened. So it's looking pretty promising. We've talked to brothers many times and uh, they're building up a lot of stocks. We feel fairly confident um, that we're gonna make it fr from there. Shanghai is a little different situation. Um, you know, the factories were pretty full and they had to kind of quit producing because nothing was leaving China. So once uh, that resumed, that helped a lot. But the unfortunate part was there wasn't containers available. I'm sure you've read a lot about this from other vendors as well as us. Um, the, the primary problem is America is just eating up a lot of Chinese goods. Uh, fireworks have been a very small part of that. So there's an the enormous amount of product coming from China to the United States. Um, like all kinds of goods, right? I mean, all, yeah, all kinds of goods, everything, everything. And there's, there's, there's shortages everywhere. I mean, um, my, my wife just recently ordered some, some towels from some place that should have had it in stock. She ordered them three weeks ago. We're not going to get them until mid March. So it's, 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 it's lots of different commodities, if not all commodities having some issues. Um, and so LA is extremely backed up. Uh, a friend of mine that's in the industry that lives in, in uh, California said there's over a hundred ships and these ships have thousands of containers out in, at sea. Some are at the port, some are waiting to, to port. Um, and they're, they're just way behind, mainly because of the volume, but also because of COVID. Um, my understanding is over 700 longshoremen uh, weren't at work at one point uh, due to the COVID virus. They are getting vaccinated. You know, hopefully they can get somewhat caught up. You know, with the Chinese New Year, there'll be a little bit of a, you know, a decrease in shipping from China for a couple of weeks. And our hope is that that will help LA get caught up. So we've got a lot of challenges ahead of us that, that, to get that done. Um, as you all know, the shipping lines really took advantage of this situation. Um, they raised, uh, from Beihai first, they raised the container by $5,800. Um, and then of course that happened in Shanghai as well. Now out of Shanghai, since Beihai is not shipping, they've added another $3,600. Unbelievable. And so we, and we just don't see this going away, um, at least in the, in the near future. We made the decision to ship. Um, we felt like we need to have the goods. I personally don't think we'll get all the goods that we need. I don't think America's gonna get all the goods they, they need for the season. There's just not enough time. There's just not enough shipping time. Um, but we hope, we hope to do as good as we possibly could do. And we're going to, you know, as always to take care of our customer, but more importantly, we're going to be honest with you up front and let you know what's going on. Um, you know, we are, we have a decent amount of merchandise coming towards our Grandview distribution center. Um, typically when we do drop shipments to customers and into our other satellite warehouses, we, we pretty much tell China to ship usually about 60% to customers in our satellite warehouses, 40% to Grandview. Um, and then, you know, we can hopefully catch up at the end. They've done kind of the opposite this year. In fact, maybe they're shipping more like 70% to Grandview. And, and this is why with, with very limited shipping containers available, um, when, when our say Shu, Shu Sing Black Cat gets maybe an allocation of 15, so they give them five or six destinations. The shipping company won't accept the bookings. They want to just go to Kansas City because it's easier. And you think about it, Kansas City is the largest destination for consumer fireworks from China. You know, with, between Winco and Fireworks Over America and Spirit of 76 and Jake's Fireworks 
and and Gary Snyder, fireworks, yeah. Snyder fireworks. I mean, I, there's a lot more I can go down the list. All those come through Kansas City, so it's a lot easier when they're limited that they can unload a ship, put it on you know one or two trains that are coming to Kansas City instead of multiple trains. So that's been the issue. Um, once again, if the port can get somewhat caught up, then we you know obviously we're going to focus on all the other destinations and get the product out of there. Mike, I have a question. So do we have a like an anticipated timeline for improvement for shipping? Well, I, I think, you know, first of all, as you all know, the factories are closed. They're closed till pretty much the end of February. Um, the offices like in Hong Kong that for Black Cat are uh, will start opening, you know, mid next week. So we're going to have a lot of time to kind of analyze where the product is, where it is in production so we can get an idea of the product getting made. I really have no doubt that China can get the product made. They, they are, it's amazing what they can get made in a short time. You know, we kind of just experienced something similar to this, as you well know, last year. The problem is, can they get the containers and can they get, um, can LA get unclogged? And that, that's the biggest problem. I really, if, if LA can get somewhat unclogged right after Chinese New Year, I think that we could see a big break and hopefully get some more allocation of shipping in late March to early April. The biggest challenge we have is if they don't get on clog and something leaves, say, May 1st from China, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a crapshoot. You're going to get it in time. I mean, we've, we've had containers tied up in LA for more than 40 days. We, we, we lost a lot of containers that we did not get for the Christmas season and New Year's season down south because the, the, the vendor shipped the container very timely. It got stuck in LA and we just couldn't get it. It would just a lot of them came in literally the week after the, the season. Only good news is it gave, gave our satellite warehouses and our customers down there a little bit of a head start on the spring, but they missed out on some, some key business at, at New Year's season. Right, and for a change, it's not the factories that are having a problem. It's the logistical situation. The logistical is, is the biggest deal. And, you know, we're th that brings up another point. You know, we're, we're beginning to work on our price list. Um, we had a lot of it done, quite honestly, and then this $3,600 extra freight came in as well as the RMB is not getting any better the exchange rates continues to, to drop but I think everybody has to be very mindful of you know I've heard things like oh the industry is up 20% it's up 25% you really just can't look at it that way you have to look at every individual item because when it's the freight that really affects say a, a canister shell uh, that's a big big size box especially a 4, four uh, 24 canister shell compared to a bottle rocket case or a firecracker case or a Roman candle case and then, you know, so it's, you know, not the, apples to apples, right? And the freight's not going to really affect some of those little items. When you take something like a, like a Roman candle, I mean, and you sell it by a four pack. Okay. So the, the, the case went up five bucks on freight. Well, you divide that by 24. It's not the end of the world, but on a reloadable that might've gone up, you know, or a canister might've gone up, say 20, 20 bucks a case divided by four. That starts making some difference. So, um, we will look at every single line item. And when we do our price list, um, and look at the cubic measurement, and that's how we're going to do our prices. It will not be across the board whatsoever. That is not a fair way to do it, and, and I think you guys got to really watch that. You can't. It's not, the days of taking a container, however many cartons, divided by that many cartons, that's your that's your cost on the freight. It's, 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 you just can't do that, and especially now that the freight is basically doubled. You really have to look at the size of the case of the cubic measurement, and that's what we're doing at Winco Fireworks. So, Mike, how's this going to affect our customers? Basically, bottom line. Well, the bottom line is we're, it's, it's obviously the prices are going to be up. Everybody knows that by now. We think there will be somewhat of a shortage. Um, we hope not too big. We really won't know that to probably the end of March or so. Um, but we're just going to be up front with you guys. We're going to tell you what's going on. Some of our indent customers, you know, drop shipments that, that are only one or two. Uh, there's a chance they won't look, leave China. We'll have to ship those to you out of a warehouse. We'll, we'll work with you on price. We'll do what we can. But there's a, there's a good chance that something that's going to happen. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, my biggest scare is we're running out of time, running out of time very fast. And, and with, the, with the issue in L.A., and, and believe me, we have tried multiple other ports and continue to try to bring it through other ports. Of course, those ports are now are getting backed up because other people are doing the same thing. But we're, we're working on this daily to try to figure a better solution to get you your, your product as well as us. And bottom line is, you know, if you've been a loyal Winco customer, you are our priority. We're getting a lot of leads and a lot of people reaching out to Winco and I'm basically telling them um, we have to take care of our existing customers first. If there's anything left for uh, people who are inquiring, we'll be happy to help you. But our priority is our current customer base right now.
Right. So. We have to do that. That's that's the only way we can do it. Sure, we'd love to get some new business, but um, we have to take care of our of our own customers and and, and, and us, frankly. And, yeah. and um, it's um, it's going to be a challenging year, but let's just hope for the best. Um, it was pretty challenging last year, and, and it would you know obviously we all know it was the best year in the consumer fireworks industry in our history. So um, I think if we can get the product, we can get close to matching that. But it's I, I just don't think we'll quite get enough product this year, and, and primarily because we all start out on such a low level yeah. of inventory, and we, we're all playing catch up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the good news is there'll be a lot of money in the economy, which will be good from the government. That's a positive. I believe everybody had a great experience last year for the 4th of July. That's that's a huge positive. So those are working in our favor. If we get the supply chain to improve, I think I think we could definitely maybe possibly get close. Anyway, Mike, anything else you can think of? I think it's, you know, we'll, we'll stay in touch. We'll let you guys know what's going on. Um, you know, we're not going to hear a lot for a couple of weeks just because of the holiday in China. Uh, but as, when we do start hearing things, we will be the first to communicate to you. And uh We'll uh, just hope for a very lucky year because that's yeah. what we need. Absolutely. And if you have any questions about any of the content in the video today, please reach out to your sales rep representative. And they, if they don't have an answer, they're going to come to Mike or myself, and we will get an answer back for you. So anyway, everybody have a great day, um, great evening if you're watching us in the evening. Uh, Happy New Year to our Chinese friends and everybody else around the world. Anyway, uh, this is Dave Guccione, Gooch and Mike Collar from Winko Fireworks, and we'll talk to you next time. All right, thank you very much.